Jake's a zombie gaming. Boys on his bed. All right, we're back in the whatever this is. And last time we we missed stuff. So let's let's look around a little bit more. It's interesting to see the low poly for here and then have like the high poly grass and, or maybe not even high poly but high definition grass and everything. Gorgeous. Why does he have an umbrella? I mean, I know it's raining. Wrong hand. Touch it again. Will, will it do the same thing? So it only did it once. Interesting. What else do we have? The boat. This game is really good for, like, the amount of time it gives for each character, too, because you're getting just enough of the story without being, like, overwhelmed with information, and it's showing how they're all kind of working together. Hey, thanks, Lolly. I appreciate it. And I'll be here until probably about three. Thank you so much, man. I appreciate it. Oh, she's right there. Um, well, I actually, I haven't seen anything else. So let's go ahead. I'm not sure how I feel about Amanda. Somebody in the chat earlier said that they, they didn't like Amanda. Hello, Amanda. But I, I haven't Hi. fully made my opinion yet. I've been yet. expecting you. Would you mind a little walk? Yeah, Hariku? How early is it there? That deviant seemed to be an intriguing case. A pity you didn't manage to capture it. Ooh, Amanda's not happy about me not, not doing that. Deviants are completely irrational, which makes it difficult to anticipate their behavior. But I should have been more effective. Did oh, you geez. manage to learn anything? I they found it diary, but it was encrypted. It may take weeks to decipher. What else? The walls Signs of the apartment of the were covered with drawings of labyrinths and other symbols. Like the other deviants, it seemed obsessed with RA9. You came very close to capturing that deviant. How is your relationship with that? the lieutenant developing? Saving he him. seemed grateful that I saved his life on the roof. He didn't say anything, but he expressed it in his own way. We don't have much time. Deviancy continues to spread. It's only a matter of time before the media finds out about it. We need to stop this. Whatever it takes. I will solve this investigation, Amanda. I won't disappoint you. A new case just came in. Find Anderson and investigate it. Weird question. Have we seen her... Okay, never mind. I was gonna say, have we seen her blink at all? Like, I know that even the androids are, like, programmed to blink, but, like, sh she didn't seem to be blinking. And I hated when I had to get up early when I was working nights. I feel for you, Riku. You have reached your destination. Thank you for traveling with Detroit Taxi. We look forward to seeing you again soon. 
Step out. I mean, she's a psychopath. I believe it. Remember when sex was safe and driving was risky? Detroit? Can't tell what that other one says. Look for Lieutenant Anderson. Is this his house? Obvious, the obvious thing is just Lieutenant locked. Anderson. Anybody home? <laughs> Lieutenant Anderson. How was his car parked again? This car is kind of like not all the way in the driveway. Did he drive drunk or something, maybe? Oh, I can't see shit through there. This one looks like it has a little more space in it. Why did you go up the stairs? Connor, get your shit together, man. Sumo. Oh, there we go. Oh! Hank is unconscious. Lieutenant Anderson! Oh, okay, I guess I'm breaking the window. Easy, sumo. I'm your friend. <laughs> See? I know your name. I'm here to save your owner. Either understood or very bad guard dog. He's a man of fine taste. Look at all those pizza boxes. Oh yeah, 10 out of 10, wood pet sumo. Was he gonna kill himself? There was a gun! Revolver 357, one bullet remaining. Well, I mean, if you're gonna kill yourself, why would you need more than one? Damn, YouTube has some bills to pay. Every ad has been non-skippable. Jesus. That sucks. Uh, scotch. Looks like a bottle of Jack Daniels, obviously. Fake brands, but pretty much. Traces of alcohol, scotch, whiskey, 40% alcohol. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Grew up on himself? Slight arrhythmia, no signs of trauma. Well, that that's that's good. Lieutenant. Ethylic coma suspected. <laughs> Wake up, Lieutenant. <laughs> it's me. <laughs> I'm to sober you up for your own hey, safety. Hey, I'll have to warn you. Leave me alone, this may be fucking android. Get the fuck out of my house. I'm sorry, Lieutenant, but I need you. Thank you in advance for your cooperation. We get the fuck out of here! <laughs> he is cocked. They don't Shut know where up. the bathroom is. Attack! Good job. Attack! <laughs> Super attack! Oh! Hey, dog. <laughs> Fuck, I think I'm gonna be sick. Connor's acting oh, like he knows the layout of his house. So I'm not going anywhere. I'm not going anywhere. I'm not grumpy, I just don't like you. <laughs> oh, no. I don't want a bath. Thank you. Sorry, Lieutenant. <laughs> For your own good. Ah! Ah! Turn it off! Turn it off! Ah! 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 
<laughs> what the fuck are you doing here? A homicide was reported 43 minutes ago. I couldn't find you at Jimmy's bar, so I came to see if you were at home. <sighs> Jesus, I must be the only cop in the world that gets assaulted in his own house by his own fucking android. <sighs> Can't you just leave me alone? Uh, pragmatic? Maybe you should drop the case. They'll assign someone else, and I can focus on my mission. You got oh, mission. oh, you care that's not what I'm... Listen, Lieutenant, you're not yourself. You should... Beat it, you hear me? Get the hell out of here. He's... I understand. It probably wasn't interesting anyway. A man found dead in a sex club downtown. Guess they'll have to solve the case without us. You know, probably wouldn't do me any harm to get some air. There's some clothes in the bedroom there. <laughs> I'll yeah, me neither. <laughs> I, I, my intentions versus my execution in many cases are just total opposite of the spectrum. That there was some clothes. What do you want to wear? Whatever. Hippy. Stripey. Streaky. Let's go streaky. All right. Are you all right, Lieutenant? Yeah, his clothes kind of do. Minimal <coughs> options. Yeah. But being a detective, I wouldn't yeah. expect much. Mostly Wonderful. just his work suits. Just, uh, give me five minutes, okay? Sure. Ooh, that's a lot of throw up. Learn more about Hank. Well, let's see. Oh, we got something to read. Withdraw from the Arctic region immediately. Time to pull the plug. Screening for depression. A recent study led by Dr. P. Gorgansky has linked the amount of time we spend in front of screens with the widespread antidepressant e epidemic. From time to time we wake up to the time we go to... The, oh, from the time we wake up to the time we go to bed, we are surrounded by screen-based devices. Of course, too much TV definitely won't make your eyes go square, but it can have some other harmful consequences. These include poor sleep, strained eyesight, and lack of face-to-face -face interaction, driving emotional underdevelopment and depression. Gorgansky's study found that two in three people take antidepressants and lack of social interaction is, leading, is a leading cause. Meaning, meanwhile, the average person spends 82% of their time communicating through a device rather than in person, and relationships are suffering for it. In response, CyberLife has introduced a home psychologist add-on for your Android in a bid to teach us how to communicate again. The upgrade costs $150, but the benefit, but can benefit the whole family with group therapy sessions and activities uh, adapted for children and adults. But Gorgansky is skeptical. Our society is hooked on technology. I don't think yet more technology is the answer. Just go outside and talk to someone. If that one, uh, yeah, I was going to say, like, the um, the blue light, which is usually why I'm wearing glasses, these, these guys, um, apparently, like, stimulates your brain... Uh, in different ways so that like it's actually harder for you to get to sleep that's why they try to say not to have much screen time before you go to bed because it can it can affect your sleeping habits and it can actually give you headaches and things like that as well and yeah I mean that's <laughs> that that hits home that's real uh sales of Android intimate partners are exploding Androids capable of satisfying customers' sexual and emotional needs have been a phenomenal success, such that CyberLife has been battling to keep stores stocked. Wow. Though the ideas seemed far-fetched initially, CyberLife's gamble has paid off. 
These androids offer nothing less than a full partner experience. For men or women, the advantages are many. Androids take care of the house, cook a high standard, cook to a high standard, and fulfill any sexual fantasy without ever having, without ever ha saying, "Not tonight, honey. I have a headache." While Cyberlife initially focused on urban singles to buy its models, this year's record divorce rate seems to show that many men and women today prefer to live with an android than with a human partner. This won't help the already plummeting birth rate, which raises serious questions about the role androids play in our society. That was brought up too earlier in another magazine we read where um, we didn't know, like, um, how it was affecting the uh, future of the population because more people were saying that they prefer their uh, special moments with androids in general. Uh, I think it was like 65% or something like that, if I remember right. Be a good dog, Sumo. I won't be long. I love dogs, but the problem would be just picking up after the, uh, all the, like, hair they leave around, the fur and everything. Yeah, I think, maybe not to this exact level, but I think there is a lot of this that's gonna speak for our future. Like, like, really speak for our future. Because, I, <laughs> I feel like, I don't know, I just feel like that, um, that if we start, what was it I said the other day? So, uh, ah, I quoted, I don't know what I actually quoted, but, like, I, there's the quote that I had heard saying something along the lines of, we kept asking ourselves if we could, but never stopped to ask ourselves if we should. I'll have to figure out where that quote actually comes from, but that brings up a very relevant question. Like, should, should we do this? Like, yes, it'll benefit technology. Yes, it'll make things easier for humans, but, like, how else will it affect humans? And I, I brought up the uh, question of, like, how kids are going to react. Jurassic Park. Oh, yeah, like, like bring in... Oh, oh, okay, yeah. I think you might be right. I think that is where the quote comes from. Uh, but, yeah, like, kids... Kids asking... Or kids growing up with these robots, like... Or androids... And growing attached to them because they're probably the ones taking care of them while the parents are doing their own thing. Like that can t that can totally change your family's relationship in general. I don't know. It's it's interesting questions that we really just don't have all the answers. If you've made it this far, that means you've watched until the end of the video. So thank you so much for sticking around. I really appreciate it. If you liked it, don't forget to like it by giving it a thumbs up and commenting what you liked about it or what you'd like to see more of. And absolutely, most importantly, don't forget to subscribe and ring that little bell icon so you can join the Horde and be notified anytime I post any other videos. Thank you Horde members so much for watching, and I hope to see you in the next episode. Bye!